Hi, I'm Leah and this video is all about how I work with my big magical art drop spindles. Um, so first of all I make these from wild branches so they're not straight, they're not dead straight, they're as straight as I can find them. Um, but yeah, they're not like when something's a machine dowel piece. Um, and I put lots of bells on them. All of them have got lots of bells on and jingle a lot. This one is a super pom-pom one. It's got loads and loads of pom-poms all over it. That makes it even heavier. Um, but this one's mine. And occasionally I put some of these in the shop. Um, there isn't any of the super pom-pom ones in there at the moment, but there will be soon um, when I make some more. So yeah, these, these spindles are much bigger and heavier than other spindles that I've got. Um, and the reason I made them was because when we were traveling, um, I really wanted to make art yarns and my small spindles just weren't <clears throat> big enough to be able to make the art yarns with. And because I like things that are really jingly and really wild looking, it's more about the look of it I really like how wild they are and lovely and yeah so I embellish them with lots of patterns into the branches um so yeah I, I made these so that I'd be able to make art yarns while traveling and um I thought I'd make a little video about some tips of how I work with them so um as I say they're heavier than other spindles um and so some little things that I, you can do to get started on them if you've got one or if you'd like one um they um so i let mine drop i just dropped spin with it um dropped but if it feels too heavy at first if you've been used to a lighter spindle um and you're worried that your fiber is going to keep breaking until you've got used to the weight you can park and draft but you don't need to grab it you can literally just lay it against your leg and it will just stay there because of what it's made from it won't it won't slip around it will just stay where it is so if you um yeah you can just um start spinning with it um let the spin onto it let it drop against your leg and then draft out some fiber and let the twist go up like that um what i do to begin with to be able to wind um so this is the cop here to be able to wind the cop onto the branch um I do, these these will pop inside out so you can turn them inside out it's harder with the super pom-poms because there's a lot in the way but on the other ones they really easily pop inside out so you pop it inside out like that and then you won't be able to spin it from underneath so easily so you spin it from the stick or you can roll it down your leg whichever way you do it and um and then you can get to the bottom part then to wind the cop on at the bottom and then you can just pop it back up again and wind in further up so um yeah there's one tip of working with them um another one is if you've left your spindle lying against something and it's got squished like that so if it's been lying against something for a long time and then you pick it up to spin with it again you might find it might have sort of gone like that or a little bit wonky or something all you need to do is pop it inside out again like that and then I just get some water on my hands, get the sink, get some water on my hands and just sort of splash it over the back. I don't drench it. I just sort of just really wet the whatever's showing on the surface. Because under here there's um, metal bells and the little links on them are metal as well. So um, they might rust more if they get too wet. So I just do this part inside where there isn't any. And I just wet that all really well on the inside but as I say not not drenched not dripping just wet it well and then shape it reshape it a bit like when you get clothes and it'll say washing instructions reshape while damp so you just reshape it while it's damp get it into the shape like that and then hang it up somewhere where it's free to hang so it's not leaning up against something again and then when that's dry you can just pop it inside out and it'll be back to how it was so um yeah or you can just store them so that they're hanging straight without anything leaning up against them but i find when i'm in the van um there's not much space to do that um so that's why i sometimes just reset them with a bit of water so um yeah so there's a couple of tips about the drop spindles and um 
yeah, I really love working with them. I really love the sound of the jingling while they're spinning and the pom poms on them. Um, yeah, and then also also another tip that I forgot is if if I'm so this one's a, a slightly thinner yarn that I'm spinning on it at the moment. Um, that's because I'm going to be doing an art yarn with one thicker and one a bit thinner. So um, sometimes I would spin the thinner one. If I'm doing one of those yarns, I would spin the thinner one on one of the smaller spindles and then just ply it onto here, spin the thicker one on here and ply them together on here. Um, so yeah, but this time I'm just spinning it straight onto there and then I'll be plying it onto another one. So that's the spindles. <laughs> 